Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna learn about modal verbs. Do you know what is modal verbs? So I hope in this video, you can learn all about modal verbs that will help you to construct sentences with modal verbs like can, might, could, will, would, should, must, or to and etc. For this, it's a humble request to watch the full video till the end that will really helpful for you. And one more thing, if you are new in my channel, then please subscribe this channel for get notified when I post a new learning videos every day. So without further ado, let's move on to the video. So first of all, you need to know what is modal verbs. You can say it as models too. So, models are a special group of auxiliary verbs used to express certain meanings like permission, ability, suggestion, or possibility, etc. Remember this, models are a special group of auxiliary verbs used to express certain meanings like permission, ability, suggestion, or possibility. Let's have a look at the most important models. They are can, could, may, might, will, would, shall, should, must, or to. See the following examples. Number one, may I leave a little early? May I leave a little early? In this sentence, we can see there is asking for permission. May I leave a little early? Here you are asking for permission. Next one. I can learn this poem by heart in 10 minutes. I can learn this poem by heart in just 10 minutes. In this sentence, we are using can models and we can see there is an ability that I can learn the poem. Example number 3. You should take your dinner by 9 p.m. You should take your dinner by 9 p.m. In this sentence, we are getting a suggestion. We should do that. So, here we are using should models. After that, the principal may come to the office in the afternoon. The principal may come to the office in the afternoon. In the sentence, we are getting a possibility that the principal may come. So, in this following sentence, we are using may, can, should and etc. They are called modal auxiliaries or simply models. So this point is very important. Please try to note down it. Number one, models are not complete verbs. They cannot stand alone. They must be followed by a main verb. Models can be used alone only in question tags. For example, you shouldn't interfere in her affairs. Should you? And number two, that is models have only one form which they never change. Now, we will learn about uses of models. Number one, when you are asking for permission, we can use may, can or could for asking permission. Number two, for giving permission, you can use can or may for giving permission. Number three, that is ability. When we are talking about ability, we can use can or could. And number four, that is when you are give, giving someone suggestion or advice, then you can say should or ought to. When we are talking about some possibility or something that is going to happen, we can say may, might or could. After that, when we are talking about some wish that there, we can say may. Or And the last one, when we are talking about some necessity, then we can use must so let's discuss each models one by one first of all we will learn about can models okay can usually express some ability or capability let's see the examples number one i can swim across the river i can swim across the river number two can you lift this box can you leave this box? Can and may are used to express permission. May is rather formal. Remember, we use may as a formal sentence 
and we can use can as a informal or friendly way for example may i come in ma'am may i come in ma'am in the sentence we are talking with a formal way but when we are talking in an informal or friendly way we can use can let's see the example can i use your phone can i use your phone but when we are talking with a very polite tune we can use could i leave now could i leave now to talk with a polite tune we can use could model but remember may is used to express possibility in affirmative sentences can is used in the corresponding interrogative and negative sentences for example it may rain tomorrow it may rain tomorrow next he may be at home he may be at home can this be true can this be true after that when we are giving someone a permission we can use can and may too for example you may go to the library you may go to the library in the sentence we are giving permission we can use may in the sentence it's looking like a formal way but when we are talking informal way we can use you can use my pen you can use my pen it's an informal way could and can are used to talk about ability for example he could run faster than other children he could run faster than other children next one that is when we are talking about suggestion or advice we can they use should and ought to for example you should get a seat booked in advance you should get a seat booked in advance next we ought to follow the rules we ought to follow the rules next one the uses of may might and could when we are talking about possibility or something going to happen then we can use those modal verbs for example ananna may be in her room ananna may be in her room in this sentence we can see there is a good possibility that ananna may be in her room see the next example that is i might come to your house in the evening i might come to your house in the evening there is a weak possibility in the sentence we can see because i'm not sure but i might come to your house in the evening after that i wonder there is a cookies are they could be under the pillow in the sentence there is a very weak possibility because i don't know where is the cookies they could be under the pillow for this we can use could next the uses of may when we are talking about some wish uh, then we can use may for example may you be blessed with peace and prosperity may you be blessed with peace and prosperity next may success be yours may success be yours after that we are talking about some necessity we use must must is used to express necessity or obligation for example you must improve your spelling you must improve your spelling next you must appear for the audition you must appear for the audition must refer to the present or the near future to talk about the past we use had to the past form of have to because must has no past form must is often used when the obligation comes from the speaker when the obligation comes from the somewhere else have to is often used for example i must be on diet it's my own idea i must be on a diet i have to be on a diet the doctor has told me to be on diet so i hope that video will helpful for you if it is helpful then give us a big thumbs up if you have any issue or query then you can leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel for get notified when i post a new video